Hi guys, welcome to the Random Burrito where we talk about books, food, gaming, pop culture, and sometimes artisanal coffee. Ah. <laughs> Betra, betra ma. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, artisanal coffee, yeah. but yes, it's it, it uh, is. It, it is. is. It so is. I'm I with will. my good friend John Rex of Brewed by John Rex. Hello, everyone. And we're gonna be trying um, their signature um, limited edition um, artisanal <laughs> coffee. Yes. So yes, ma, tell us a bit about um, this project of yours, Brewed by John Rex. Um, I've seen it on my feed because mm. we're friends. <laughs> But for the public, let us know what it is now. Okay, so I've got two for now, but Brewed by John Rex actually started as a passion project for mm-hmm. me, really. Like, it's just, I just really want to share my love for coffee and the arts to people who might be interested. So, what I plan on doing is, or what I've done so far is, I'm, I'm bottling my coffee using beer bottles because beer brewing. Mm. Right? right. I see the connection. <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and I want it to be unique. Like, yeah. I don't want it to look like a typical, you know, cold brew that you can get anywhere. Yeah. So, anyway, so I, I create an artwork for each brew that I release. Mm-hmm. So, every time I brew something, I, it goes through different stages of you know testing oh like, so we're going to the trade secrets yeah now, okay <laughs> this is exciting <laughs> so okay, like go. i change recipes and then if it's something that i finally really like mm-hmm. and want people to try then i'm gonna make an artwork out of that mm-hmm. and then release 20 bottles of that artwork or of that series mm-hmm. i call each uh, brew their numbers like mm-hmm. brew number eight for example is my eighth attempt or here, where? Sorry. <laughs> okay. So we have like a blocking issue yeah. here with the camera. It's okay. There are a lot of cameras around, Bongo, <laughs> and so like, but <laughs> yeah, cause I yeah, which, I know. which camera it's, it's, to focus it's on. Like, there's here. one over there. Yeah. There's one over uh, here. Uh. There's one over here. <laughs> so this is like a big time vlogging <laughs> partnership. <laughs> Yes. So anyway, going back to brew number 10, or no, brew number 8, this mm. is the first brew that I've ever released. Mm. So 8 means it's my 8th attempt mm, okay. at brewing. And then brew number 10 is my 10th. Tenth. Tenth so what happened brew. to brews 1 to 7? 1 to 7 are ones that I didn't really like. Okay. Like it's part of the testing phase for 8. Okay. Yeah. And brew number 9, I didn't like that at all. Oh, also oh, we skip. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like iPhone. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you skip the salam numbers. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay. Magamalas ka numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I should probably get those numbers from you since yeah, you're into that. Yeah. Like, okay. You're into card reading uh-huh. and then numerology, I'm yeah. guessing. Yeah. So, number 8 is this and then okay. number 10 is this. So, that's how Brewed by John Rex started as a passion project. Okay. So, I'm not earning from any of this. <laughs> so anyone watching, anyone watching, I not a day on camera. I always forget the camera is over here. Sigigo. And here. <laughs> so, <laughs> grabe, I feel like such a celebrity. <laughs> it's so over. See the camera over yeah. here? Like, because um, sometimes you have technical issues with all the rest of the camera. So, uh-huh. lahi lahi angle. like when you know when you watch something interesting, like lahi lahi angle. <laughs> It's very that. Yeah. We're a high budgeted <laughs> channel. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. So that's how I plan on doing. So I'm excited for my next next release. So I'm really um kind of about now like Bruce one to seven didn't really see the light of day. Uh, yes, yes. Um, exactly. some market is because you didn't like it and yeah, that's why exactly. we started brew number eight. So like that's a lesson right there, no? Na uh-huh. marag, you gotta try and try until uh-huh. you find exactly. that sweet spot. Na marag, ready na. And an interesting part is brew number ten, no? I've never had to make another recipe for it. Oh, okay. Because the first time I ever made it, I already loved it. Mm, so okay. there are those. There are those that you have to change. Some of them, it's just love at first sip. Uh huh. Love at first. Ah! Ah! I'm so posting that in my <laughs> Love at first sip. Okay, okay. Yeah. Love it. So that's why it's. It's there. Okay, so just like a lot of people um, that I know, you you love coffee. Yes, yes. Um, I used to love, I used to drink a lot of coffee before, but I've kind of slowed down now. Mm-hmm. Like, my hapra sa on one hand, the times I've had coffee in the last year. Oh, wow. So, um, what made you, like, from a coffee lover to a coffee maker? Like, that that's a huge leap. So, what made you do that? No, actually, leap? I've always had coffee before going to work. Uh-huh. I've always, like, dropped by 
coffee, a coffee shop and you know just to start as my we day. can see in yeah. your feed and your story every day like yeah. maghilak ang adlaw walay so walay we, visit to we the, actually joke uh, around about that nga check attendance uh, sa kapihan so anyway yes. so we always like I always go to those shops to get coffee and in the past I would always just you know passively drink coffee okay maybe because of the rush and all mm-hmm. until I got introduced to specialty coffee mm-hmm. like the pour overs okay yeah 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 that's when I really started to appreciate coffee. Mm. I didn't realize that coffee was this complex, that it had so many flavors in them mm. and notes. Like there was this one time I had a specialty coffee somewhere. I wouldn't name because we're not paid by them. So <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> this is a partnership with just brewed yeah. by John Rex and Random Burrito. So we're not going to name any other brands. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, right. so I went to this specialty coffee shop and then one of their beans was like the OG of coffee, which is Ethiopia, where it mm. all started, based on coffee history. Mm. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. coffee history part, actually. But you anyway. love something you like really yeah, exactly, dive into it. Exactly, today, yeah, right? exactly. Okay. So anyway, I went there and tried the Ethiopia beans and then it really tasted like blueberry. Oh, so like the mga fruity, tangy Yeah, notes. exactly. Ah. Like, it, it tasted like blueberry. And I was like, wow, in the past, I would have just drank this straight and like never thought and intently drink coffee. But okay. That's why, yeah. So which brings me to my next question. Like, Part of your branding is drink coffee responsibly, intently. Yes. So like, why, why intently? Like, what's up with that? It goes back to that. Like, in the past, I would just passively drink coffee. Mm-hmm. So you never get to notice the notes of the coffee and uh-huh. the flavors that you get out of them. That's why. And also because this is a beer bottle. So yeah. when I searched for, like, you know, ads for beer bottles, it always had... Drink uh, responsibly. Drink responsibly as a warning at the bottom. True, and I'm true. like... Why don't I make something out of that? Oh, okay. So drink coffee responsibly. And then I thought, how do you drink coffee responsibly? Is you drink it intently. Okay. You focus on the drink mm. and you just discover the different flavors. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. rewind. <laughs> are, we, are we still recording? Oh, oh, okay, perfect. Continuation. Rewind. So you Here just. You uh, are we good? Okay. <laughs> are we good? My <laughs> focus director. Behind the scene, kay strict na ikayo. Strict as a person. I don't have talent directly. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm a parita. I'm just a little makeup artist. So that was what I was saying. Like, we have to drink intently coffee so okay. that you can get the flavors out of the coffee that you're drinking. And it's amazing. It's actually a very complex world, mm-hmm. I just realized, because how your coffee will taste will depend on an entirely large process mm. of like from the harvesting of the coffee from the beans itself yeah of the beans itself the cherry actually they're not beans they're like coffee cherries oh yeah yeah and cherries. they're just called beans because they're shaped as beans ah, but coffees aren't beans apparently oh, yeah they're fruits manjuta. yeah exactly okay. <laughs> so dito po ko discover like from the harvesting to the processing of the coffee mm-hmm. To, like your roasting of mm. the coffee will also affect the flavor of the coffee and then the brewing method is okay. also gonna affect and then it doesn't stop there like your water also matters because water is 98% of your coffee mm. and 2% of it are the solubles okay. so more, it's a complex world and kind of, I just want to discover it and share my discoveries to people okay because like Ever since I practiced like tarot and spirituality Is it the same and all, thing thing, with like, you? Kanang, yeah, like pra- when you practice things with intention, mm-hmm. like before shift, like mukaw na ko, and then para lang masudan na and then mm-hmm. I get to work, and then like maybe because of like the pandemic thing, mm-hmm. like my life has really slowed down considerably. So like when I eat, kanang rag hala kaning rice, kanang like gigaling panisha sa farmer, kanang mm-hmm. yarvest, masha like. When you think about everything that goes into what you put in your body, like, because that's what rituals are. They are small things that we do with intention. Mm-hmm. They are small things that we do with purpose. And uh, it changes your mindset. Exactly. And I think my life will change with this coffee. <laughs> 
I hope so too. Na ano ba kay tagline din to na kada. Or not tagline, but I made an ad that said that this is really the only bottle you'll ever need. But that was a self conversation. Yeah, and then I said and commented sa post na that's a really bold claim. Yeah, it is a bold claim. But what that was really was I was talking to myself mm-hmm. because my fridge was empty and the only bottle in there was brew number eight. Oh. So I tried to convince myself that this is really the only bottle that I need. It made a really nice, bold statement. Yes. Yeah. So sometimes you need to, you know, publicize your yes, private thoughts. Yes, exactly. Okay, so let's, how about we try? Yeah, What's yeah. Daghan na kayo tag chika. Like, yeah. I think mahimo na ni siyang one hour. <laughs> Hopefully <laughs> so, na. So, this is one thing that I always bring with me now. Okay. The bao. No, no, let's start with eight. Eight. Okay, so you go. For, so uh, this is the first fruit of your labor that yeah. has seen the light of day. Yeah. Post your first seven so attempts. So that's not cold anymore. Yeah. But yeah, you can try it first. See, so how much Stop. stuff? Okay. So okay. what you'll need to do is you need to smell it first. Okay. So like, what aromas are you getting from it? And when you talk about aromas. Remember experiences in the past and try to associate it with that. Like, does it remind you of your childhood? Chara, yeah, may mga actually, remind me of my childhood. No, no, because the part of the brain that processes smell and memory, okay, they're actually in the same proximate area. So that's why you always link um, scents with memories. And yeah, it does. What are you getting from that? Strong na coffee. No. Oh. Kanang Marsha. Nay nice, something acidic or soury, uh-uh. sa berries na ako mas smell. This smells like kanang mga mornings na ako spent in my childhood home sa Labangan. Ah, uh, yeah. So you take a sip. You so uh, okay, while you ako. take a sip and then you work incorporate it there. with your your smell. So where that makes the notes. Yeah, so, so nakoy aftertaste of um, like tangy na acidic, mm, mm. probably from the berries, but it's very strong. Like, mm-hmm. mer- okay, wake up. <laughs> 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 That's just na na feeling. Like, yeah, actually. Like, nabubuhay ang patay na katawang lupa ko. Na, and lava. also, what's very interesting is kanisha when I like it iced. Actually, I oh. like it on ice. I brought some okay, ice with go. me. It's- I don't know if it's already melted, but it's not. It's I, not yet. It has, pero kanang madapa. Okay, so can we get like let's get one. Okay. Like the mo. Oh yeah. Okay, I like it ice. with ice, and then I just like swirl it like wine. Ah. <laughs> very, shake it, very, not like, stirred. Exactly. <laughs> can we change to the young flavor actually? Yeah, na, like ang kwanza ice it, it dilutes the yes. strength, and it's more like. Joyful, like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> yes, I can't quite explain it. Pero are yeah, you getting the like difference. chocolate? Because ang ako ang na notice mm. ana is like a dark chocolate note towards the end. Not really, pero kanang more of muted, a like toned down version of what I tasted earlier. Uh-uh. Pero naga pa ng sweetness niya. Moba. Oh, like ang tangy na. That's also amazing, no? Because in the past, I never really thought of coffee as sweet. But if you really start to focus on mm. the taste of coffee, na mga yuda is sweet. Nasha, nasha na a bit of Oo. sweetness. Depending siguro sa beans Oo. that you use. Exactly, exactly. So yeah. that's brew number okay. eight. Okay. Um, and we have like milk here and sweetener. So yeah, if I'll like to try, try to it. add more coffee. Oh. And then I'll try I with... think Simon behind the camera tried it. How did you like your Simon? With cream and sweetener. Oh, but so I tasted dark chocolate. He did taste dark chocolate. No. I don't know if your audio can be caught, but hopefully it can be caught. So I'll try with. And Kine. then you want to try it with the sweetener yeah, yeah. or without the sweetener lang. first? Okay. Alright, let me. Like the color is so inviting. Oh. It tastes expensive. <laughs> It really, oh, wala, wala, really, sure, it really takes expensive. Like, 
Oh. Kanang mo kapag met ang milk sa yung flavor, mm. more sure it adds like a lot of richness um, to it. Na taste think, na ako ang dark chocolate that you were referring to now na nang. I think also because Evian atong ice and acarat lah. <laughs> ice and water. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Chika lang the water yeah. That's why it's also very important. I did some research on that. I I like. I think Moto 1 to 7 didn't make it because I was Billy using Apple different Apple. brands of water. Mm, Actually, okay. there was one locally made. Like, is Summit locally made? Yeah, I think so. Summit came as one of the most recommended by my barista friends. I mm. tried it, it was good. But when I tried Kandang Evian, like the way it extracts flavors is mm. kind of different. Well, like, Evian, not by a mile. No, it's mineral water mineral. from the French Alps. <laughs> <laughs> but there are ways to make it cheaper, man. Siguro eventually, is if I made my own. Mm-hmm. I'm discovering that too while I'm having this uh-huh. experience. You can like create your own water. There's powder that you can like put in, but you have to use uh, distilled, like okay. so, distilled water, no minerals, no anything in it. Mm-hmm. Ana like water, water, water like uh-huh. it's too lang yun. H2O, <laughs> and then you put like a powder that balances, that yep. makes it more uh, of, like okay. add calcium, something, something. So the minerals. Rana. Yeah, uh, the minerals. Yeah, and the pH. Niya. Mm, so okay. I can go for that route, and maybe my coffee would be a little like less the amount it is now or the price. But mm. but maybe eventually we'll do that. Yeah, because I think more affect ang minerality si muhang water Mm-mm. considering na 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 solubles daan. Correct. Mm, I can't get enough of it, Jude. <laughs> education. Are you okay with that? Because we still have brew number eight that you can try. Uh, I have a lot of space <laughs> for liquids. <laughs> number ten in your Oh yeah, number eight. The, uh, sorry, number eight, sorry. So we'll number try eight. Number we'll ten. try ten. Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Because but it's really got... good. Um, like <laughs> like how do you complement it on milk and? Sweetener with uh, coffee, but by Asang itself, cap. it is really at the back. Um, it's really oh, okay. good. The video is really shaking. So. Okay, rada maka sabut rada chal. But I'm so happy with Norman's findings. Uh, so marag not consistent really na, reset siya. Yeah, and because uh, between Norman and I, mas anad man siya kape kape. Uh, so, but you know, anad anad of coffee doesn't really yeah. mean that you will catch notes more. True. Because ako personally, no, I got surprised when I went to one of the coffee shops. We're not gonna name names again. Did <laughs> <laughs> no, not Starbucks. But when I went wa- uh, to one of the coffee shops, but I'm also like friends with this barista already. Mm. We tried something like some shots in their store, and then mas bakuha ni ang notes. Ako nala amazing, uy. Mm. Nga, like when she mentioned, I can smell this more and. I'm like, wow, you're correct, girl. I'm not gonna... Like, I know, like, some professional, like, so try it. First. Connoisseurs, oh. like, kind of coffee, not big taste, smell, like, their noses are insured. Yeah, wow. <laughs> no, but yeah. so Norma now is trying brew number eight. Ten. So, uh, ten, sorry, I always forget. Because I think eight. I think love Judy yeah, number actually, eight. Uh-uh. Although I'm doing a limited twenty bottle per release, I'm actually starting to think if I should like do more. I can smell the dark chocolate more here. Moba. Mm. So this one is brew number ten, ten, and the artwork is different. This one is called the Hanging Coffees. Mm. <laughs> hanging Coffees because it's inspired by Hanging Coffins, oh. where we got the beans from Sagada. From Sagada. Yes. <laughs> that is really ingenious. I love it. Kanisha, like, what's your inspiration for this art? Like, this, is, katong Salvador Dali na. this art is about the uh, essentials of brew making mm. or cold brew making. So you have your grinder you have the time which is your steeping time you have the water here and then you have your coffee beans ah. so ana ang koanya ang peg so the next artwork i'm excited in sasha and i'm also actually willing to collaborate with artists like if you guys know Local any artists, artists yeah no, no, that we can be nice. we can profile them and like check what their koan taste is like like if they want if they want like an, if they want like coffee a sweet or something and then we can look for the best beans that will fit their profile but normie you might want to mention that our guest is a world renowned artist himself <laughs> yes <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so, 
but John Rick is like an all-around artist, dude. Like, um, he has an eye for design, yeah. art, um, interiors. So, kanang like very art, all-around artist. I would person. always used to be like, ah, dili bang good, and but I re- I realized that's a very Filipino thing. Mm. I'm not saying I'm not Filipino. I'm Italian by heart. Charata. <laughs> but no, I'm saying kanang murag. If it's people compliment Filipino you, oh, yeah, exactly. Filipino. If people compliment you, then take it and say thank you. Ano lang yun? Um, yeah, ina na pod ko. Like I just, I just say thank you na na. Okay, I'm gonna own it na. Kinsa man ang naghatag sa mo sa ni na world renowned artist? Yeah, it's from somewhere. We're not gonna name names. Tara ta. Are we? Yeah, go. Ah, okay, so it's the abong balay page. There's the katung hmm. furniture shop sa Cebu local furniture shop. I think she found some. So I'm, I, I think she found my sketch by John Rex page, and she found that I catered to customers like outside the Philippines. Yeah. Uh, and you designed one of their furniture. Yeah, I did oh. design one of the furniture which I am using. Ano mm. So yeah. We'll insert picture here somewhere. Hoy, kabeze. Ma, kung may Kenneth Coburn po yun dito. Dili sad ma, lahir up ng level si Kenneth Coburn po. But what are you getting from brew number ten? This is like everything sa eight. But a lot better. Boba, you find that a lot sweeter. A lot you like it better. Milder. Oh, mas at um, the dark chocolate that everyone was talking about. I can sense it more here. Boba, I, I I forgot what I put this on is, the notes. This is the love us. at first sip Boba. for me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kanitan. I love it. Actually, this one has a dark chocolate finish. This one is I. The, the, the eight is a dark chocolate finish. Mm. This one has tobacco oh, notes. Ah, okay. Mas ganon ko ani. Boba. I think the the dark chocolate you're getting is there is the tobacco Crazy. notes I'm uh, getting. Ana okay. Because it doesn't have to be the same. Like it's it's a it's a, it's a evolving. No, it's subjective. different for yeah, it's different for each person. Like the sourness I may be getting, I can describe it as lemon, but mm. yours you can describe it as orange. Ana uh, okay. So it doesn't always have to be the same. So the notes that you see on coffee packages, they're really just a guide. Mm. Ana Okay. So I'm putting in the milk and mm-hmm. the sweetener. But I'm going to a bit more. Yeah. I can hear the crickets and shit. Yes. Yang intro six minutes. Nah, to be an kayo. Sorry, good. Sorry, na good. I mean, just edit out some things that might not be. Suitable. Mm. It really tastes like flat white. Maba. Ang kani. Kani na like katong gimmicks na ako ang milk and sugar. But you can sugar. see that there's a difference yeah. between the two, no? Yeah. Like the number eight is more intense for me. Oh. Um, I enjoyed it, but I enjoy this one more. Kanang like a leisurely sip, like kanang like chika chika lang ana. The yeah. ang eight like like more serious to chat for me, like. It really wakes you up. Nice. Welcome, Professor Eight. One of the katung people that got uh, brew number eight for me. We were like video chatting earlier because I wanted to hear their thoughts ba, about the coffee. Uh-huh. We were video chatting and then for like before we knew it, he's already finished up the entire bottle. He's like, you, you can easily finish <laughs> this, Jude. While get chica chica more than Rex. Like ako, ako personally no, I would just leisurely drink because I like to take it slow. But sometimes kana mo. Ha, na, ano ganun. Inaano ko na like if I enjoy something like I consume mm. it, jud. <laughs> like, oh, horot na siya and I could go for more but jud. <laughs> like it's really it's that good. So, okay, thank you so, so much for sharing welcome. the joy of coffee and with thank me. Thank you also for having me and uh after when was the last video you guys posted? Uh, a few weeks ago for a bunch of tarot reading to share. Ah, a few weeks you. ago tarot reading. Yeah. So, kanang I like the idea put na like na by batch uh, mm. uh, that you're releasing that's like the exclusivity. Yeah, I like um, put by sort it. of and you can see like the progression of your skill, I guess. No. You know, and the you know, the different um, nuances of flavor. So, I'm thinking niche. like yeah, so Whoever is watching, like if you want to grab a bottle, no, 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 plug, go, go, go na. plug na daw, <laughs> na just, oh, just follow my page because I will be announcing the series there. So I'm deciding now that I will not take like orders until I announce it. Okay, na mga yuban ng mga reserve na ko sa next ana. So I will probably do a rule on that. Ngakanang I will only release when 
the bottle is available. Okay. Sige. That's Yeah, release per one person lang gani ana gani. Oh, uh, para wala mang hoard. Exactly because okay. I'm Yeah, there are so many plants in the pipeline. <gasps> plants in the pipeline. Grabe. <laughs> 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 Nay mga pi- Sige, pipeline dai. Go, laban. Im na nan ba yan ang pipeline? <laughs> According we're not to sponsor. Ay, I'm sorry, laban. we're not supposed to say that. <laughs> so, Iblip okay. lang, iblip na lang. All right. So, um yeah. Hoy, nagdugang pa ka. I thought we were done. No, I, I really love it. <laughs> I'm gonna drink it. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, those are the two brews. And I'm excited for the future series. So, what's your FB page? With this one. Uh, brewed by John Rex. So brewed by John Rex. Okay, yes. we'll put the link um, in the description box below. So go ahead and check it out, guys. And this has been Norman from the Random Burrito. And Ciao. John Rex from Brewed by John Rex. Uh-huh. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching till the end. Bye. Bye. Ciao. Oh wow, Italian. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Ciao. Oh yeah, it's a wrap uh, it's a, again. Ready? One, two, three, go. It's, it's a, a wrap. wrap. Ciao. <laughs>